Hey everybody, welcome to the real United States and welcome to the, well, Union Square, actually. We're not in the National Mall. What you see behind me is in fact the National Mall and, and about halfway down there, the Lincoln Memorial, uh, the Washington Monument rather, and on the far end, the Lincoln Memorial. Well, this is a 12 acre plot at the easternmost end of the mall and this is called Union Square. And this actually is, you see there's a lot of pavement here for bicyclers and walkers. And beyond that, there's these large grassy areas for people that, I don't know, maybe sit or relax for a while. This one's under re rehabilitation, so it's not open. The, the facade is being re regrown. But there's these beautiful big open areas in this, uh, 12 acre parcel. Well, this 12 acres sits directly in front of the United States Capitol building. And half of that 12 acres, about six acres, is the Capitol Reflecting Pond. It is a huge body of water. It is the other reflecting pond. Usually when you say the reflecting pond, people think of the one between the Washington Monument and the Lincoln Memorial. It's the one that gets all the photos, it gets all the press. But here in front of the United States Capitol building, now we don't have a super sunny day and we have a little bit of wind, so you can't see a great reflection in the water. But on a brighter, on brighter days, especially during the summer, when there isn't so much breeze, you have reflections of all these things surrounding you, like the Capitol building, or some of these other great monuments that we're going to get to in future episodes. You can see on the far side of the pond, of course, these huge bronze statues. They're monuments to some of our great historical figures. Again, I'm going to go into those in a future episode. I don't want to spoil it. But the pond here has got kind of a curve to it. You know, it curves along with the, oh, I don't know, sort of the curvature of the dome of the Capitol building. Now, in the spring, in the spring, mallard ducks come here. I don't know, they were probably conceived here, who knows. So the Park Service installs in the spring these ramps. And if I can get a picture, if I can find a picture, I'll put it in here right now. And these ramps are to allow the ducks to uh, egress and ingress, I guess, whatever, um, the water in a specific location. I mean, obviously they can fly in and out, but this allows them to walk in and out without being trapped by this big stone wall that's around the outside of the pond. And they do, they install these every spring. I thought that was kind of, kind of interesting to, to allow the mallard ducks an opportunity to come in and swim. Quite a bit different than the last time we were here, isn't it folks? We were here just before the inauguration, when the whole front of the Capitol building had just had the dome redone, but it was all covered with the, the bleachers, the temporary bleachers and everything, the stands that were part of the ceremony for the inauguration. And now that's all been dismantled and taken away. And finally, we have a relatively clear shot of the United States Capitol building with its refurbished dome. I'm sorry it's not a bright or sunny day, but it still looks pretty good even in this light. And you can see the seagulls come in here to kind of chill as well. Mostly ducks and seagulls come here. I don't think I've ever seen the geese in here, although there's so damn many geese here in Washington, D.C., it would not surprise me to find some in here one day. But anyway, this is the other reflecting pond. And standing by it, it doesn't look like it sits at six acres, which is, you know, a fairly good sized plot of land. But it is, in fact, that big. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty nice. A lot of people come and sit on these steps where I'm standing. There's uh, what, one, two, well, it's only, I guess, three steps. But they'll come and they'll sit and they'll enjoy themselves and relax and, you know, look at the cabin, look at the reflections, all those sorts of things. It's just a nice place to come and rest 
and because these steps sort of form like bleachers, there's a lot of room for people to sit. So if the benches are full, you can always find a place to sit down. It's kind of nice, for, at least for guys like me. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to share with you the other reflecting pond here in Washington, D.C. that we thought was important and very beautiful here in front of the Capitol building. If you've got questions or comments, please leave in the comment section below. I love hearing from you. I try to get back to everybody I can. I will do my best to answer your questions about this. If you're new here, welcome. And I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you'll consider clicking subscribe and come along for the adventure because we got lots more to show you. And as always, thank you for watching.